Hi, I'm Meghna. Welcome to my home. So this is the entryway and this is one of my favorite pieces in the house. Uh, this mirror adds a little bit blink to the well, just when we move in the house. These are a few pieces that we've collected from our travel. So this is the living room and if you see that we've got very neutral tones of grey and peach and our drapes are in a uh, light brown with uh, off-white and the entire credit goes to Shonan at Spotlight Creatives who's help, who we onboarded to do up our place and it was a dream come true when, we, when she handed over the project to us. This wall has got a textured wallpaper of a similar tone which reflects the light and gives a slight shine to this entire place. I love the effect that comes in with the plants. The carpet gets a, lifts the mood with shades of teal, which is a little offbeat, but it goes very well with the wing chair that we have. At the corner, we have a chest in she pure shisham wood. And I like the look of the tiles, which also somewhere go with the carpet that we have. This wall has a wooden framed mirror which reflects this painting and from certain angles wherever we sit we can see parts of the house and if even the lights get reflected so this gives puts a, adds a lot of drama to this room and from every angle we are able to see corners of the house and me and my daughter use this mirror a lot for selfies we have a set of nested tables and these are also my favorite we picked from a brand called Lakadhara they're based out of Ramgarh in uh, close to Jaipur now I move to the dining. So the house is a combination of pre-owned furniture and new, which is again something that Shonan did a fantastic job of putting everything in. This table is in mango wood. I bought this from Chokhat. They've got incredible furniture and it has a pure marble top. It is a little hard to maintain, but uh, it gives a very nice, neat finish. This is a shisham crockery unit uh, bought from Rajasthan. And it puts, it's got a lot of space inside, a little rugged, and uh, but I love the finish of the antique knobs. Uh, we're fond of music, so we have a nice Marshall uh, speaker here and an antique handset. This actually works if I plug it in. And this was a gift from one of my uncles. The dining plates go very well with the dining area. These were picked from a blue pottery vendor in Jaipur. I love the lights, which we, which we use all the time when we're eating here. And the panelled wall gives a beautiful look to the room and it uh, without even putting much stuff so as we say less is more this wall just does the trick this is a bar plus a crockery unit custom made and uh, it is in the tone of grey and black and black because we have a light at the corner so this is like a statement piece which goes very well with the light there in a black frame this has ample space to put in all my crockery and this bar has uh, we've got lights inside the bar and it looks very pretty when we put it on at the night in fact throughout the house in the entire place we've got different sorts of lights and this place transforms in the evening now i take you to the most used room if the house where we spend where the family spends the most amount of time this is an office come tv room come a place where we just unwind and chill I love the sofa, you just sink in the sofa and that was the brief that we gave to the person who was making it for us. And uh, the entire house, if I say, is cosy and contemporary because it's got pieces which are giving a very modern look but at the same time an earthy finish because you'll see tones of brown, light brown and dark brown throughout the place. This table I've picked from Gautam Swaroop who does this as a hobby and uh, he puts up a, usually a, a stall at Daskar where I first met him and it's a beautiful contemporary piece and this is one of my again favorite cushions chill here because we use, this is what we do here every evening uh, there is a arch that was given to this cupboard to give it a different look from the rest of the cupboards at home uh, 
I wanted my workspace to be close to a window because that's how uh, that makes me my that makes me think better while I'm at work. So this there there was no other option and there was no space where we could put the desk. So we decided to extend the TV unit and this worked like a magic for us. It's super comfortable and at the same time I have a beautiful view while I'm at work. My husband is a voracious reader and this is his collection of books if you take a close look it will have mostly non fiction we've got souvenirs from our travel and this just adds uh, make the makes the shelves look really pretty we are very fond of taking pictures or when we are traveling and sometimes and especially pictures where we are not there so that we can frame and put up a travel wall now all these are from various places this is from given by a friend who traveled to leh and he knows that i like collecting so he got it framed and gave it to us this is from srinagar this is hawa mahal at jaipur this is photo guarda in goa and this picture has a story because my daughter often jokes and tells my husband that he's not very good at taking pictures and this is a great pic he took on a recent trip to vienna and this is and this was definitely what had to go up on the wall and this is a recent edition these are a few frames from nook at you where uh, we just got it printed and framed and they've added a lot of uh, beauty to this wall Now we'll move to the master bedroom. This is a small uh, alcove where we've got uh, we've got Moroccan tiles and if you see that uh, the flooring in the room and in the hall is different and this alcove has this is basically added a little drama to this entire space and these are creating different moods. This is a refurbished cupboard which is now storing my linen. Uh this is a very pretty piece from gifted by my friend from Moratara and this is the Krishna ji's rath and this piece is a little uh, is quite close to my heart this is a coffee painting which is uh, which was taken by a uh, made by a lady at one of the exhibitions at epicenter this is the master bedroom and uh, this is the wall that we tend to see the moment we move in um, we had just done a beautiful paneling and which has really made the entire room look very different these pieces of art were taken from the streets of uh, rome and uh, these are the monuments that's the pantheon and this is fontana di trevi in most houses wherever we've stayed we've really moved houses because my husband was in a transferable job we've uh, i've always had a collage wall where i've put up pictures so this is also what we've tried to do and i'm think it's just going to get bigger every time that we uh, are back from a holiday this the tone of the room is in beige green and peach this carpet is from obiti and it has really given a different look to the dark wooden flooring with the light textured cupboards and it looks it makes the entire space look very beautiful i can also change the linen according to the colors of the carpet now i'll move take you to my daughter's room uh, before that this is our puja room and uh, we just got a glass door done and we have a beautiful shrinath ji's painting which we picked from nandwara the color tone in my daughter's room is lighter as compared to rest of the house she's got a different wooden flooring with a lighter shade and the uh, cupboards are also selected as per the to go with the floor the wow factor of the room is this beautiful wallpaper that chonan designed and uh, got it printed and once it was up it just changed the look of the room dramatically the carpet is from obiti again to go with the wallpaper the best my daughter's favorite corner is uh, that with the basket chair where she just curls up with her blanket when she wants to unwind and read a book her study is relatively uh, big because she likes uh, to put all her books around and she needs enough space to work there's a lot of storage this is a custom made piece there's a lot of storage where she puts in her artwork her stationery and her school books her tuition books and all of that we've given her a small dressing area because she likes to usually have a full she wanted a full length mirror so this is something that we picked from the flea market and this is we've uh, refurbished to a small dresser where we've just where she can just put her 
uh, toiletries and her accessories. Now I'm just taking you for a to a, for a quick look to the guest room. This is mostly used when our, when we have our parents visiting us or any guests. Now here we have a contrast of the floor and the color of the cupboards. A dark floor with a, a lighter tone of the cupboards. The curtains are also light in color to make the space look a little big. These are pain, Madhubani paintings that are, were picked from a vendor and rather an artist in uh, Delhi Heart and he puts up regular stalls at various uh, markets so if anybody wants to reach out to him he's great at his work thank you for watching and for more such videos subscribe to lbb's homely newsletter